From the National Newsroom of the Canadian Press, I'm Naira Ahmed. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says India misjudged in believing it could target Canadians with criminal acts as both countries have expelled six diplomats. Trudeau is commenting after the RCMP announced the extraordinary step of warning the public about safety threats the force links to Indian government officials. The Prime Minister says India has rejected Ottawa's request to cooperate in RCMP investigations into violent incidences and coercive behaviour linked to agents of the Indian government. The government of India made a fundamental error in thinking that they could engage in supporting criminal activity against Canadians here on Canadian soil, whether it be murders or extortion or other violent acts. Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie says violence linked to India has only increased since last autumn when Trudeau announced Canada had credible allegations that New Delhi was involved in a homicide near Vancouver. BC Premier David Eby commented saying he's deeply concerned about the safety of the Sikh community. Eby called the RCMP's revelations unprecedented, noting, quote, violent political acts shouldn't take place here and that's why it's so serious. Conservative leader Pierre Polyev called the RCMP's allegations extremely concerning and levied his own accusations at Trudeau and his government for not taking national security and foreign interference seriously. Students have returned to class today at a Jewish girls' school that was the target of a weekend shooting in Toronto's North End. The executive director of BASE, Hayamushka, says 250 schoolgirls have returned after the building was hit by gunfire Saturday. The director says people in the community are concerned by the shooting, but agree that reopening the school was the right thing to do. Toronto police are working to identify those behind the attack. The school was also the target of another shooting in May, and police say they're trying to determine if both incidents are connected. Brenda Molina Navidad, The Canadian Press, Toronto. Abroad, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is reasserting that United Nations peacekeepers must leave southern Lebanon, where the Israeli military is operating. The peacekeepers are part of the United Nations interim force in Lebanon, who have been patrolling the border area between Lebanon and Israel for nearly 50 years. Netanyahu says Hezbollah uses the UN group's facilities and positions as cover. The comments come after five peacekeepers have been injured since Israel started its ground incursion into Lebanon two weeks ago. The United Phil Chief has said UN peacekeepers will stay on Lebanon's southern border despite Israel's request. And a NASA spacecraft has blasted off in search of the right conditions for life on Jupiter's moon Europa. SpaceX launched the Europa Clipper from Florida's Kennedy Space Center today and it will take five and a half years for it to reach Jupiter. This is the Canadian Press. In sports, the league-leading Montreal Alouettes swept the Ottawa Red Blacks for the second consecutive season with a 19-12 win on a dreary Thanksgiving Monday. Davis Alexander finished 14 of 24 passing for 208 yards, one interception and one rushing touchdown in his first start since August 17th for Montreal, which has already clinched first place in the East Division. Meanwhile, Josh Norris capped a two-goal effort with the game-winning goal 57 seconds into overtime, and the Ottawa Senators defeated the Los Angeles Kings 8-7. Zach McEwen also had a pair for the Senators, with Jake Sanderson, Drake Batherson, Thomas Chabot, and Claude Giroux also chipping in. The Montreal Canadiens host the Pittsburgh Penguins tonight, looking to start the year winning three out of four games. Montreal is coming off a 4-1 win over Ottawa and defeated Toronto 1-0 in its season opener. The Habs' lone defeat was a 6-4 loss to Boston last Thursday. And the defending Stanley Cup champions, the Florida Panthers, beat the Boston Bruins 4-3. From the Canadian Press, I'm Naira Ahmed. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. For more of today's top stories, visit the Canadian Press News.ca.